Hello, everybody. Hope you are okay, and I hope you are fine. It is a beautiful day. It is May the 19th. Hope you are fine, and hope you had a lovely week. It is Friday, so we are towards the weekend. It's a lovely day here in the UK. Not too cold, not too hot, but it's fantastic anyway. So I hope you are living the life of dreams, or you are making big moves. You are being bold and courageous, and you are making the necessary steps to get what you want without stepping on the rights of others. In short form, I hope you are making big impact in the world, a positive big impact in the world, wherever you are doing and whatever you are going to be doing. So welcome to today's topic. We're going to talk about the top performing companies in the world by market capitalization or market cap in short form to some who have heard the word market cap. So hope you okay. This is more about increasing our financial literacy or financial IQ. Why? Because when we're going to see how the big boys do it and what it takes to get to a certain level, how they perform business, the kind of strategies and uh, say the kind of yeah, strategies they implement to become number one. Look at the background, how they began, how they transformed, the kind of products they sold. It'll give an idea of what you can do for your own business or to implement it in your own life. To go on a global scale, what it takes, the manpower, the woman power, the mindset, the kind of budgets they have, how they plan long term, they think big, they create, uh, they have risk management, they network. They share information with others. So these are some of the tricks you can use if you are trying to scale up your business or you're going to start a business. Think big and see how can I go large. Obviously, you got to think of the steps, but you got to be persistent and carry on because some of these companies have been alive, have been running for over 20 years. Don't expect, some expect one year, two years, everything to be, psh, and then suddenly you are rich. It's a process which takes time. So most of these companies who are going to see have been, running or have been uh, trading for over 20 years or more than 15 years. And so now they are in their prime where they are reaping the benefits of what? Being persistent and not giving up. So this is the time when they say, you know what? We are ripping it large because the, the, they had a customer base. They have a good product. They have a good following. They have something which works and they're keeping on. So implementing or they're innovating, they're always thinking of the next best thing sometimes, they're always looking to improve, they have good customer service, and that is why they are top in the world. So I hope you're okay, and I hope you are fine. So we're going to talk about market capitalization and the companies which are the top performers in the world. So if I would ask you from the top of your mind, which company, according to you, is the top performing company in the world? So according to you, which company is a top performing company in the world? I'd like to read your answer. Put, please comment below before checking. Nothing, nothing's wrong, nothing's right. According to you, what, or what do you think is a top performing company and why? This could be your own thoughts. It doesn't have to be the one we're going to read. It could be in your own opinion. It could be any company of your choice and why it is the best performing company i'd like to know your thoughts in the in the comment below definitely so please what according to you what is the best performing company forget the type of revenue or sales or market cap according to you what is your favorite brand or company and why it is your favorite company isn't it so definitely let me know and i'd like to if you can post your answer in the in the comments below. So what is your favorite company and why is it your favorite company? So before we begin, we're going to define what is a company. What is a company? What would you define as a company? So I'm going to go to Google. Then I'm going to share my screen. So you know what is a company? So a company, according to Google, is a commercial business. A 
company is a commercial business. The others are the fact or condition of being with another or others. That's in terms of, of friendship or enjoyment. But we're looking more of the commercial side. If you look here in Wikipedia, down at the bottom, a company related as coal is a legal entity presenting an association of people, whether natural, legal, or a mixture of both, with a specific objective. Company members share a common purpose and unite to achieve specific declared goals. So a company is a legal <clears throat> entity presenting an association of people, whether natural, legal, or a mixture of both, with a specific objective. So it is a association of people with a natural or legal who have a specific objective. So your friends are your company. So if you're a friend of somebody, most chances are that you have a specific objective. But here, when it, comes, when it talk about a legal entity, whereby it's something which is trading as a legal entity, not just, not just friendship, as a legal entity. Another definition is a company is a type of business structure that is a separate legal entity from its owners. So a company is a type of business structure that is a separate legal entity from its owners. It's a complex business structure with higher setup and administrative costs because of extra reporting requirements and higher level legal obligations. Like that's quite a complex one, but so it's, I hope it doesn't put you off. So it's a complex business structure with a higher setup and administrative costs because of extra reporting. No, that's not the one I want to use right now. So we'll leave that. So anyway, in short form, a company is a legal entity representing an association of people, whether natural, legal, or a mixture of both. If you go to Wikipedia, I love the encyclopedia. The company can be created. So before, yeah, I'm gonna skip this part here. So a company can be created as a legal person so that the company itself has limited liability as members perform to fail or to discharge their duty according to the public declared in corruption of or published policy. So what I would say is a company can be created as a legal person so that the company itself has their limited liability as members. Yes. Examples include of companies. So companies take various forms. Some of them are voluntary associations, which may include nonprofit organizations. We've got business entities, those who are Primarily, primarily operating to generate a profit, to make money, not make a profit, no, profit. And you've got also financial entities and banks, or the companies too. You've got programs or educational institutions. So those are some of the, most of them. So most companies are ever non-profit, profit making. We've got banks, financial entities. We have education institutions. Now we go to others, which are also sports, you know, entertainment as well. So, but those are other definitions. So if you look at the meaning, a company can be defined as an artificial person, invisible, intangible, created by or under law with a discrete legal personality, perpetual succession and a common seal. So a company can be defined as an artificial person, Invisible, intangible, created by or under law with a discrete legal personality, perpetual succession, and a common seal. That is a bit of wild company. So if you, you can read more about companies around the world. So look at the types of company. So the company limited by guarantee, commonly used where companies are formed for non-commercial purposes, such as clubs or charities. The members 
guarantee the payment of certain amounts if a company goes into insolvent liquidation. So a company limited by guarantee is formed for non-commercial purposes. It's a club, charity, not for profits in most cases. No cases. A company limited by shares is the most common form of a company used for business ventures. Specifically, a limited company is a company in which the liability of each shareholder is limited to the amount individual investigative corporations being the most common example of a limited company. So that's company limited by guarantee, limited by shares, is most common for profit or business making. There's a company limited by guarantee by share capital. This is a hybrid entity, usually used where the company is formed for non-commercial purposes, but the activities of the company are partly funded by investors who expect a return. So a, a limited liability company, it's a company statutorily authorized in certain states that is characterized by limited liability and so forth. You've got an unlimited company with or without a share capital. This is another hybrid entity. So the one I'm talking about is the limited by shares and limited by country. What's the most common ones? The limited by shares, which is can be private or public. So in a nutshell, a company is a legal entity which is formed by or under the law. And the most common form is a public is a company limited by shares. So a company limited by a guarantee are ones which are not for profits or charities where the non-commercial and all the profits they make and the money they make goes back into the business. So we got a company limited by share, which is primarily for profit making. So if you are part of a club or a not-for-profit charity, commercial interest company, that's a company limited by guarantee. If you are in a business making money for profit, then chances are you're limited by shares, which is public or private. So for to go to the main topic for this video, so we're talking about the top performing companies in the world. These are all public liability companies. The companies which are publicly traded on the stock exchange. So they're not private, but they're public limited companies. So these are the biggest companies in the world by market cap. And by market cap, what do we mean when we say, or what is the word market cap? So it's short for market capitalization. So if you Define, if you type in Google, define market cap. This is what you're going to get when you Google. It is short for market capitalization. So on the side here, market capitalization, sometimes referred to as market cap, is the total value of a public, publicly traded company's outstanding common shares owned by stockholders. So market capitalization is the total value of a publicly traded company's outstanding common shares owned by stockholders. Market capitalization is equal to the market price per common share multiplied by the number of common shares outstanding right here, for those who are watching. So market capitalization is equal to the market price per common share multiplied by the number of common shares outstanding. If you go to Investopedia, this is what is market capitalization. Market capitalization refers to the total dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares of stock. Their investment community uses this figure to determine a company's size instead of sales or total asset figures. In an acquisition, the market cap is used to determine whether a takeover candidate represents a good value or not to the acquirer. So instead of looking at sales, how much money you made, or total asset figures, you look at the market capitalization. The total dollar market value of the company's outstanding shares of stock. For those who want to buy companies, we tend to look at sales, how much has are made, how much assets does the company have. But if you look more at the uh, market value of the company, 
I mean, that's a bad idea of whether a company is profitable for you to buy or take over. Companies might make sales, but not break even, not make enough profit. Some have many assets, but might be depreciating. So the best determination which the investment community uses is the total dollar market value of the company. That will give a better description of whether this company is worth buying or taking over or worth investing in. So key takeaways is market capitalization refers to how much a company is worth as determined by the stock market. It is defined as the total market value of all outstanding shares. To calculate a company's market cap, multiply the number of outstanding shares by the current market value of one share. Companies are typically divided according to market capitalization. So the large cap is $10 billion or more. The mid cap is $2 billion to $10 billion. And small cap is $300 million to $2 billion. So market cap is often used to determine a company's size, then evaluate the company's financial performance to other companies of various sizes. In investing, companies with larger market capitalization are often safer investments as they represent more established companies with generally longer history in business. So capital share, so just to summarize that part, so if you want to look at a general, if you look at companies and see if it's performing well, don't look at the sales or the total assets look at the dollar value of the company. In most cases, you tell you have a better picture of whether the company is performing well or is something you want to invest in. They have good sales, they have good general assets, but if the stock, if the dollar value is low, that's why it's not something you want to invest in. But so yeah, definitely look at the value of the market. Remember, the market cap, refers to how much a company is worth as determined by the stock market. Calculate it, you multiply the number of outstanding shares by the current market value of one share. The market cap is often used to determine a company's size, then evaluate the company's financial performance to other companies of various sizes. So that should give you a rough uh, understanding, a better understanding of market cap and how to calculate it. Next time you see a company and say, oh, I'm making sales, like, oops, oh, good assets, like, mm, what is their market value? So I'm gonna go to a website, it's called companiesmarketcap.com. Companiesmarketcap.com, where you're gonna, it shows you the top performing companies in the world. Isn't it? How ironic is that? So give me one second. So for those who want to follow companies, the top performing companies, you need to check out companiesmarketcap.com. Give me one second. And that will show you the top performing companies, how much they're performing, if you want to invest in them, if you want to see any other details, and if you want to make your financial, uh, financially sound investment or decision, then that is the place to look. So that's why the big boys are doing it for those who are interested in that kind of information. So I'm going to share my screen again. But this is this company, this website is companiesmarketcap.com. So you can see there it has global ranking, ranking by countries. Ranking by categories. So here we're going to run by market cap. We run by earnings, revenue, employees, PE ratio, dividend, market cap gain more. So for this video, we're going to use the market cap. So we have a list of all the. It goes down to well, as you can see, got ninety up to 100, so he's listing the first 100 companies by market cap. So number one, again, is Apple. But also into Apple. Once again, Apple leads the way 
and its market capitalization, the dollar market value is $2.753 trillion. And the price, I'm guessing for sure, if I'm wrong, is $175.05. Well, the chart says it has been constantly going up for the last 30 days. I'm about, to, well, I'm about an investment analyst, so I'm reading a chart while in front of me. So it says that it's been going up, and it says it's in green, so it's been going up 1.3% today. I'll leave it at that point. You can see Apple is, they say, is number one according to market cap. Then we have Microsoft. So Apple, for those who are into the products, is it the... We got the phones, we got the iPhones, we got the Macs, we got the Pros, we got the iPads. So all that is Apple, isn't it? iTunes, all the eyes in Apple. Number two is Microsoft. So those who are into the software, and for your computers, so we got two Microsoft. Uh, yeah, Microsoft is worth two point three six eight trillion dollars, and the price is three eighteen point five two dollars. And today it's gone up by one point four four percent, so it's climbing higher than Apple. And the prices double, almost double. Yeah, almost double the price of Apple's. So that's number two on market cap. Number three is Saudi Aramco from Saudi Arabia. His market cap is $2.091 trillion. And the price is only $8 to $64. Ooh, that's quite affordable, isn't it? So the price for Aramco, Saudi Aramco is $8.64. Really? The growth is 0.93%. Oh. For those who say they want to Best little money, Saudi Aramco, it's $8.64. Really? Yeah, I'm shocked you didn't hear that. Number four is Alphabet, who owns Google, right? Yeah. So the market cap is $1.563 trillion, and the price is $123.52. And you see it's a positive 1.68 growth today. The last three days, it's been growing. Number five is Amazon. Amazon used to be number two three years ago. So Amazon is has a market capitalization of one point two one two trillion dollars, and the price is one hundred eighteen point one five dollars. And so far as the highest growth of the ones I've mentioned, it's going up by two point two point nine percent. Now Nvidia, I never thought Nvidia would be on this list. On my, I never thought. I assume most of my tech and financial, but Nvidia, well. NVIDIA is mostly software, isn't it? No. Oh, so, so NVIDIA is on the list. Number six is Bitten Berkshire Halfway. So NVIDIA is, uh, the market cap is 783.43 billion and the price is 316.78 and has the best growth today with a percentage of 4.97. So NVIDIA is past Berkshire halfway and Facebook as well and Tesla. I guess things change. So no, we'll go to 10. <clears throat> so number seven is Berkshire halfway, half a week. 722.75 billion is the market cap and the price is 329.76. The growth is 0.72% today. And the price is growing. Number eight is meta platforms, which is Facebook. The market cap is 632.60 billion. Yes, my, Facebook lost money last year. I don't know, but it's time where we lost a lot of money. I guess that's why it's going down. Because I'm pretty sure before it was NVIDIA was up there with Meta and Batch Half were, were right. But I think after Microsoft, wasn't it? Last year, the year before. I don't know, things changed. So number nine is Tesla. 560.65 billion is the market cap. The price is 176.89 and positive growth for 1.74%. Number 10, where we'll stop is a visa, which is 489.25 billion. 133.60 is the price and 0.1% is the growth today. So those are the top 10. There are over 100 there, so 
they showed the first hundred companies. So both of the top 10. So if you want to invest in one of them, look at them, get some financial advice. But look at Saudi Aramco is 8.64 the price. Oof. And hint. I uh, think I might, I might think about it just to test the waters. But definitely, so look through, look at the list. So these are top performing companies by market cap. You can also search by earnings, revenue. I think if you'd also like to save revenue, but I wouldn't go there. This is just about market cap. So yeah, that is a, a bit about uh, the companies who are the top 10 in the world. So I'm going to pick, put a link in the end of the video for those who are watching. I've posted the link. There you are, it's over there. The link is in the description. So you can check out the link on market capitalization, marketcompanystory.com and top performing companies in the world. So I'm gonna to go in depth and read more about the company. They're just showing, so I'm gonna go to Investopedia again, where you can read more about the companies and have a deeper insight into how they operate, who operates them, and use that to your advantage. So over to Investopedia, same companies, but here it says six Tesla, Tesla six, Luxury seven, Nvidia eight. So I don't know what, so I tried are using, but this was September 24th. Oh, last year, maybe that's why. So this article was written on September 24th, 2022. Well, I guess the one I just read was a bit more updated, but still, anyway, gives you an insight. For the world's biggest companies by market cap operate within a range of different market sectors, including technology, communication services, energy, consumer cyclicals, and financial services. The majority of the companies making the, up the top 10 list generate hundreds of billions of dollars in annual revenue. However, there are a few that generate less than $100 billion in annual revenue. Suggesting that investors are optimistic about the potential growth of these companies compared to the others on the lists. So all the data below are courtesy of TradingView. Although dollar values of data for Saudi Arabian oil, which does not trade on US exchange, were converted using an exchange rate of ABCD. So that was last year in September. So that's around nine months ago. Spring of change. So, but if you look, if it gives you a bit more depth, so number one is still up for last year, it was 378 billion. Now it's in trillions now. So the market, oh, that's revenue. So the market cap is 2.65 trillion. Revenue, 378.3 billion. Net income is 100.5 billion. One year trading total return at 7%. It was founded in 1976. So that was 46 years ago. 24-7 years today, isn't it? 24-7 years today. So Alpha has been trading for 47 years, and that's why, well, so I'm saying that is bad. Look at his CV's resume. For seven years this year, Apple has become the world's most valuable company. The Apple designs, manufactures, and markets a broad range of consumer technology products, including smartphones, personal computers, tablets, wearable devices, home entertainment devices, and more. Some of its most popular products include its iPhones, smartphones, and Mac computers. Apple has also Apple also has dramatically expanded its sales from services. It operates digital content stores, provides cloud and payment services, and recently launched Apple TV, a streaming service for on-demand entertainment content. So this one says number two at that time was Saudi Aramco which you talked about. 
Saudi Aramco, Saudi Arabian oil, better known as Saudi Aramco, is a Saudi Arabia-based integrated oil and gas company. It was founded in 1933. It's 19 years old. My goodness, well, the company was founded as Standard Oil's overseas operations and is today owned by the Saudi government. Aramco operates both an upstream and downstream segment. No, it's a little too fast. So it was founded in 1933. One year trading total return is 25%. Revenue is $346.5 billion. Number three, Microsoft Corp. It was founded in 1975. That is what? It's around 48 years, isn't it? Yes, around 48 years. Yeah, 48 years writing on Microsoft. And Microsoft is a global developer and licensor of software, devices, solutions, and services. The company is well known for its Windows and Office suits software, as well as its Xbox gaming hardware. MSFT, MSFT is getting a growing, or Microsoft is getting a growing share of, you, of its profit and re revenue from cloud computing services, for which it is one of the market leaders. Microsoft's main cloud platform is Azure. Microsoft also owns and operates LinkedIn, a popular social networking site for job seekers. For those you know, if you're LinkedIn, it's owned by Microsoft. Number four, Alphabet Inc in brackets Google, founded in 1998. Oh my goodness me, 25 years ago. Look at that, yeah, 25 years ago. Alphabet is the parent of Google, whose search engine dominates the global market. The company offers a range of technologies and digital services, including search, the Android smartphone operating system, the Chrome browser, the Gmail email services, the Google Drive online file storage platform, Google Maps, Google Photos, the Google Play App Store, and YouTube. But also, you know, Alphabet owns all these services. The search, Android phone is by Alphabet, the Chrome browser, Gmail, Gmail services, Google Drive, Google Maps, Google Photos, Google Play, as obvious, and YouTube, for those who didn't know. The company also provides cloud services through cloud, Google Cloud, which allows developers to create and deploy applications as well as a variety of workspace collaboration tools. In addition, the company earns revenue through a growing array of hardware products such as the Pixel phones, Fitbit, and the Google Nest Chrome collection. Alphabet also operates its other bet segments, which includes emerging businesses such as the self-driving car business Waymo, as we didn't know about that as well. Mm. That's something new. Amazon.com founded 1994. That's 28 years from 29 this year. Amazon is an e commerce retailer that sells a broad range of products and services globally and is the world's biggest provider of cloud computing services. Its e commerce business includes merchandise and content that it purchases for resale from vendors and those offered by third party sellers. Amazon offers various subscription services and web services as well, including its cloud computing service and fast growing streaming and entertainment business. Additionally, the company manufactures and sells electronic devices such as Kindle e-readers, Fire tablets, Fire TV, Echo and Alexa. Amazon sells groceries through its subsidiary Whole Foods Market Inc. There's a lot more about the big boys and how we do it and the big girls. Tesla, what in 2023? No, 2003, it's 20 years ago. Come on. Tesla is a leading manufacturer of electric, of electric vehicles. Sorry, we shall have that word. The company's vehicle models include the Model 3, a four door mid size sedan designed and priced for mass market appeal. The Model Y, a compact sport utility vehicle SUV that sits seven adults. The Model S, a four-door full-size sedan, and the Model X, a mid-size SUV, which sitting with sitting for up to seven adults. The company's plans include the development and manufacture of a Cybertruck and a Tesla Semi, which is a commercial EV. 
Tesla also produces solar panels, provides solar energy generation, and supplies energy storage products. And now, getting into AI as well, the robots. I'm playing it. So, seven Berkshire Hathaway founded 1839. Wow. That's 184 years ago. Yeah, I didn't know. So Berkshire Hathaway began from the march of two original textile companies in the 19th century. Only much later was it purchased by legendary investor Warren Buffet, or Warren Buffett, oh, Buffett. Warren Buffett, I apologize, <coughs> but his name, and converted into a conglomerate holding company. So Berkshire Hathaway today owns a large number of subsidiaries engaged in a diverse range of business activities, including insurance, freight, rail, transportation, retailing, and utility and energy generation and distribution. The company also operates manufacturing businesses that make products for industrial users, construction, and for consumers. Yeah, I didn't know it was founded in 1839. So he bought the company, Warren Buffett. But also, they know about Berkshire Hathaway, number seven. NVIDIA Corp. Founded. 1993, so 20 years ago. No, 30 years ago. NVIDIA designs and develops graphics, graphics processors and related software. It was a pioneer in the development of a graphics processing unit, the GPU, whose initial primary applications were in PC graphics and video games. The capabilities of the GPU are now being leveraged for use in AI and machine learning applications. The company offers products and platforms comprised of hardware, software, device, software, services, and more to serve the gaming, professional visualization, data center, and automotive markets. NVIDIA GPUs have also featured prominently in cryptocurrency mining. Now, this company wasn't on the one we mentioned before, but it goes to Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. Founded in 1987. So that is 35 years ago. 36 this year. So this is my age calculator, isn't it? Eh? Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. or TSMC is a Taiwan based company that operates as a semiconductor foundry. The company manufactures a broad variety of semiconductors on silicon wafers based on the proprietary integrated circuit designs proved by its customers, proved by its customers. The semiconductors are used in a range of electronic products, including PCs and peripheral products, information applications, wired and wireless communication systems, industrial equipment, digital TVs, game consoles, and more. Number 10, our Facebook Meta Platforms. Founded 2004, that's so 19 years ago. Meta Platforms is the owner of Facebook, the world's largest social media network. Meta provides products and digital platforms that enable individuals and businesses to connect with family and friends through mobile devices, personal computers, virtual reality, headsets, and in-home devices. In addition to Facebook, it offers Instagram, a photo sharing app, and a messenger, and messenger and WhatsApp, two separate messaging apps. The company also operates Facebook Reality Labs, which offers augmented and virtual reality products. Meta is also investing in and building the metaverse, an expansive virtual world that combines aspects of social media, online gaming, augmented reality, and cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to stop right there. So we're going to go to revenue. This, this was the top 10 last year, September 2022. So those are the top performing companies mentioned last year and got a bit more depth about what they do and the subjects they're in. It's good to know, so you know, good to know. So next time you're shopping or have a service, you can tell, oh, this is by this company. Oh, it's owned by this. So you know where your money is going and where it's going to. Now you know the services they provide, what they do, and how much they make, when they were founded. So you can see some of these companies have been going for so long. The, ones, the, the youngest company is, I think, Meta. 2004, just the other year, 19 years, and next 2003. But most of them have been going on for over 30 years or so. So the 
point of this is keep on going. Patience pays. Sometimes patience does pay. Not all the time, but patience and persistence, perseverance, keep innovating, uh, adjusting, you know, being flexible. Because many companies were there, have gone. We had Nokia, we had Kodak, big companies, but not there anymore. HMV was one of the companies, but it don't seem to be anymore, you know. It was a big company, we were young, they were big companies, but I don't know what happened. But these companies were there from the 70s, but they're still going on strong. Actually, halfway away was from 1839, almost 106, 7, 86, 86 months, years. So you gotta keep going on. I know sometimes we wanna give up, but look at these companies, they have done well for themselves. They're still carrying on, and that's why they're at the top, 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 top. So your company could be the top on the next 20 years or the next 15 years, you never know. Obviously, don't rush it. Obviously, do your best every day, but don't rush it. Innovate, take these examples from these companies, what the services they provide. Most of them are digital now, or, but they provide goods which everyone uses every day. They provide simple services which everybody uses every single day. Some people might be so unique, but these companies provide simple products which people use every day. The iPhone, the computer, digital services, these are things people use almost on a daily basis, and that's where they make their profit from. Majority of them, yeah. You see the top 10, they use simple things, Amazon, the phones you need, Apple, the devices you need. Microsoft, computer, we're using Microsoft. I'm using Microsoft right now. Facebook, Meta, I'm using I'm live streaming on Facebook, that's Meta. So they're providing services to those people who need these services and simple things people need to help better their lives. And that's it, find a solution, find a product which helps improve people's lives and stick to it and make it better. Develop it, search it, don't quit after 10 years, five years, keep it going until it comes out. So that is what they're doing. If you look at the services, not very complicated. You want a phone, you want a charger. If a phone comes a charger, with charger you might want an earpiece, you want a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth reception, you want a cover. So from one thing, you can build another business or make another product from one product. You don't have to make so many things, just make one, then find something people need and give them. Now Windows has been here, I'm using Windows. I, I have an iPhone. No, I'm sorry, I got an Android. I didn't know it was made by, I wasn't sure. Yes, Android is by Alphabet Inc. We use YouTube, Alphabet Inc. But it's good to know sometimes what you're using so you know where, who is exactly what is behind it. But that is a snapshot of what the top companies by market capitalization are, how they're performing and what they are doing to get what they get where they are. So I hope you enjoy that. So that should be an insight to perform companies. If you have a company or a business and you are looking for inspiration, look in the top 10. You can go watch videos about how they began, how the products they sold, what went wrong, what went right, who got fired, who got good. Look, look at the scandals, look at everything and make a decision and find out how they overcome the challenges and what they did the next step, who they hired, how they hired them, what they implemented, what they removed, their failures, successes. This should give you a broad insight into what you can do for your own company or your own business. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna sign up now. Thank you for this thing, I'm going to post the link to Investopedia, the other videos as well. For those who want to check it out, might be able to look it up. There you are. Apart from that, that is me just for signing out. Have a great day. I shall see you again for another video. Take care and goodbye.